हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर टू गेट ऑल द अपकमिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सच काइंड ऑफ इनोवेटिव एंड क्रिएटिव वीडियोस थैंक यू सो हाउ टू एंटर द वैल्यू इन डिसेबल्ड इनपुट बॉक्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन जनरली लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द इनपुट बॉक्स आर ऑलरेडी इनेबल्ड वेयर यू कैन एंटर द वैल्यू यू जस्ट क्लिक एंड यू वुड बी एबल टू एंटर सम वैल्यू ओवर देयर ऑन इन दिस फील्ड्स right so here you can just select and you are able to enter the value here but what if some fields like like these fields first enter name enter last name so in this boxes like these boxes are disabled like here you cannot enter the value if you try to enter the value you might get some error let's see if we will try to enter the value what error we will get and then how can we enter the value in these fields so uh, here we can you can open this selector sub and let's say by default generally like uh, selector sub has this capability that it will show you that uh, alert input box is disabled enable to enter the value so you will not have to waste any time but still like if you want to uh, uh, see that what error you will get so let's just copy this x path from here the command along with the command and if we try to uh, paste here and then we'll send some values here in this box send keys let's say uh, enter first name sorry sanjay here and let's execute this and we'll see what will happen what error we will get that's let's see that one so uh, the very obvious thing is that we will have to enable it before entering the value so sometime like uh, in the website itself there will be some fields there will be something which will help you help us to enable those field like some button will be there or by clicking or by filling some values in other fields this field will get enabled but some fields will be there which which will always be like disabled only so in that case like we will have to see what we can do it there so here you can see that uh, the browser has opened now and uh, we'll see that what will happen and seems like this script has failed here so it is saying us that uh, element not intractable so you can see that we got the error that element not intractable here so in this case we will have to make it first enabled okay so let's see how can we make it enabled is there any uh, button or something like that to make this field enabled so generally like uh, many a times it used to be like for a better user interaction there will always be some or other uh, button or something like that will be there in the ui on which if you will click that uh, field will become enabled and if there is nothing like to enable the field then you will have to see that uh, then we will have to write the code to enable that so let's say for this field enter first name there is a this button svg button here edit button if you click on this this field got enabled now we can enter the value so it means that we can click on this button to enter the value in this box so let's inspect this element here and you can see that this uh, we can inspect this element and here we got the x path so you can copy either of the field let's say copy this index base x path and uh, here we can before entering the value what we will do we will click on this so we will click on this icon this will enable that input box and then you can try to enter the value so now let's execute this and see if that we are if we are able to enter the value inside that box so this is executing let me just close the previous window and uh, this will open the browser it has opened the browser my system is getting a little bit slow 
generally it will not happen with everyone okay so website got open and here in this page first it will try to click on that svg icon and then it will enter the value so it has entered the first name here perfect now let's try to enter the last name in that second box in this field enter last name so if you see that there's no button there is nothing like that which can help us to enter the value in this field so in this case we will have to make this field enabled <clears throat> How can we make this field enabled here? So as we can see that there is no, uh, there is nothing like button or something like that we can find in the UI. So in this case, we will have to enable it through JavaScript. So let me just zoom in if you are not able to see this here. So uh, let's just inspect this element input last name here. So we have inspected it. And we can, you can see that selector sub is letting us know that this is uh, disabled and we will have to make it enabled. So to make it enabled, we will have to write the JavaScript. We will have to use the JavaScript to make it enabled. So how can we do that? So here in selector sub, you will get this field. And if you are not aware about that, how I'm getting each and everything along with the command. So, and how I'm getting all these in upfront. So first thing, you will if you click on this button there is an expand button to see all of all the options up front if you hide them so it will be hidden like just four or five it will show up front if you click on this it will show all of them and this is the command i have already set here and turn on the command because of that i'm getting this complete uh, x path along with the command if you want to uh, learn more about it you can check out the tutorial here also it is available in selectors of uh, here in this channel as well okay so how can we make it enabled there is a just js path here so what we will have to do there is an attribute here you can see that disable it is set as disable so we will have to make it disable is equal to false if we will make that disable as false then it will be enabled so how can we do that there is js path is there in selector sub just click on this and here if you see that if we will uh, make it javascript for this so what you have to do just type here disabled is equal to false and press enter you see that now this field is enabled and we can write it here so this is script we will have to execute through our selenium code so copy this script come back to your browser uh, editor and here how we used to execute the javascript in selenium so you all must be aware about that there is a js executor something here sorry javascript executor is there so this we will create uh, for this you can create the object and pass the driver here so we have created the js object and now we will execute this script so you can just type js dot execute script and here you can pass your script so this we will execute and now after this you can just inspect this element here and we have the command ready here so copy this and this will this is really quick with with the help of selector sub and here we can send keys and enter the last value last name here kumar and now let's execute this so we have seen here we are seeing here two kinds of scenarios how to enable the uh, input uh, disable input box into uh, two ways one is like there could be a, a situation that if you click on some button then input box will be enabled or you enter some value in some fields then also input uh, that box could be dis uh, enabled so we will have to figure it out in ui is there an option to enable those fields if there is no option to enable those input box through ui if you are not able to find then you can always execute the javascript and your uh, you would be able to enter the value in such kind of input boxes so this is how you can do it you can enter the value inside the input boxes with the help of selector sub very quickly you can write the complete the code you can execute the javascript and see that whether what value can be uh, entered what value cannot be entered how you can change 
and each and everything you will get from here you will not have to waste any time to write the javascript to write the xpath to write the command and all so very quickly you can do all such things with the help of selector sub and if you want to learn more about such concept how i could do it quickly so i would highly recommend you that please check out these courses here uh, to learn all about uh, xpath selectors and a lot more such concepts and uh, you can also learn how to make the best use of selector sub to save more time so here are the courses so you can take these courses or training this will really help you guys a lot i hope you like the video you like the concepts please like and let others know about such concepts feel free to share the video and keep learning keep sharing with that thank you thank you so much